Hello everybody, I'm Flaming Kong, and sorry about that glaring background, but you're gonna need it for later because today I am showing you, since it's pretty much the end of Nintendo's pretty much year for, um, 2014, they're not really releasing any new games from here on out, I'm pretty sure Toad's Treasure Tracker was their last one, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 Wii U slash 3DS games of the past two years. So pretty much any game that was released in 2013 and 2014 will be on this list. I also have to mention that there are a few games that I didn't get in 2013-2014. Really good ones, I believe, are Smash 3DS. I have the Wii U one, so... Um... And Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I heard those are also really good. I will be getting those in Christmas, but... You know what? I'm just gonna do this right now because, you know, I just feel like it. So we're just gonna go right to number 10. I was just talking about Pokemon, so I guess we're gonna start off with the only Pokemon game on the list. <gasps> Pokemon X. And Y. I have both, but I chose X because... It has a reindeer on it. Anyway, I chose this game because there was really cool things that were introduced in this. Pretty much Mega Evolution. Fairy type Pokemon. That Sylveon though. Sylveon is super cool. Even though I was never really good at... I was never that really that great at Pokemon, but... I just play for fun. So, that's all that matters. I don't have much to say about this game. Tell you the truth, it was kind of hard finding games since there weren't that many great games in 2013 through 2014. But Pokemon X still was a really awesome game. Now, I never said these were Nintendo exclusive, but this is literally the only non Nintendo game right here. I think. Yeah, it is. I've talked about this game a lot. Rayman Legends. Um, pretty much Rayman Legends is a. Uh, I liked Rayman Origins, and Rayman Legends is pretty much a sequel, which also includes Rayman Origins. Which, crap, I am. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> but it has a challenge mode, and I think that was really cool. And the story was just awesome, and all the different characters you could unlock. So, Raymond Legends. I believe this came out in 2013. Maybe 2014? I don't know. Yeah, 2013. Whatever. But that was made by Ubisoft. My next, my next game is probably going to be surprising that it's this low on the list, but... Super Mario 3D World, and I'm also sorry if you hear my brother in the background, I told him like three times before I made this video to be quiet, but he doesn't like listening to me like I say a lot. Anyway, Super Mario 3D World, I did a walkthrough on this game. I went very in-depth depth with this game. It's got cat, Mario. And it's pretty much a sequel to 3D Land. Which I never really liked, but it's got many different characters to choose from, as well as, I won't say, since it could be spoilers to some. It's hard to reach it all the way out, so that you can see the whole box. <sighs> Kitty cat. <laughs> anyway, 3D World. If you want to hear a lot more of my opinions on that game, you can go watch my Let's Play of it. Next game... Um, pretty much, um, I've kind of changed my opinions on my favorite Wii U games because, guess what Wii U game is number eight, uh, number seven on my list. But yeah, yeah, number seven. <gasps> Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. But Andrew, Andrew is my real name. But Flaming Kong, <laughs> but Flaming Kong. I thought you said Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was your favorite Wii U game. 
I kind of changed my opinion, I guess. It's just a lot harder than I remember. Cranky Kong. I was trying to get a close-up of Cranky Kong, and I thought it was right here. He's not. There's his light. Oh, no. Whatever. Cranky Kong. <laughs> so, Donkey Kong Taco Freeze is a super difficult platformer game. And I don't know why, but I changed my opinions on it, I guess. It used to be my favorite Wii U game. And now it's... My fourth favorite Wii U game. So, you know that there's... Three more Wii U games on this list. Yep. I do have more 3DS games on here. But yeah, that's it. So, yeah. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Yeah, you can play as Diddy Kong. You can play as Dixie Kong. You can play as Craig Kong. And Donkey Kong. And if you're playing multiplayer, multiplayer is really bad. I'll be right back. Sorry, everybody. I had to go deal with some stuff and i don't think he's gonna be yelling for a little bit so anyway on to the next game which is number six sorry i kind of lost count since i don't know i was gone for a little bit number six is i've talked about it a lot i've been playing it a lot i don't play it much anymore but near pretty much the first happened this year all the way down into the summer pretty much starting like october i stopped playing it i'm gonna be starting it up again soon sometime but i was just getting tired of it but here it is number six is or is it five wait no wait a second no it's six okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> animal crossing New Leaf for the 3DS. This game came out in 2013, I think in the summer. I got it in, uh, I think I got it for Christmas last year. Yeah. No, my I got it for my birthday last year. So, November. Anyway, this game is outstanding. Best Animal Crossing game. I don't know, because this is the only Animal Crossing game I have. But it's pretty much made me a great fan of Animal Crossing, and I do plan on getting City Folk for the Wii. Maybe. I might do something with that game. You won't know. You don't know. Wink, 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 wink. And that hamster looks cute. I never... I, I wish I had a hamster. I never had a hamster. I had the lucky mummy guy. But yeah. It's kind of hard to explain Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's pretty much a life simulator game. I don't know, but if you like, it's pretty much a reality life. It's it's reality, but with animals and crossing. And next game at number five is Mario Kart 8. <laughs> if you guys would have seen how I introduced it, I was like, wow, I went like that. You can hear the disc. I just finished my Let's Play on this a few days ago, maybe a week ago, week, week or two ago, I don't know. But it's an awesome game to play online. It can get, like, tiring playing by yourself, but online is definitely fun. And Mario Kart, dude, it's this is definitely my favorite Mario Kart game. Probably. I don't know, it's just, it's online, it's fun to play with friends. Mario Kart 8. And there's Bowser and Luigi in the background. <laughs> and the DLC just came out for it. And if you buy both DLC packs, it's like a discount. I think $12. And I suggest you do that. That's my third favorite Wii U game. Here's my second favorite Wii U game. I just finished my walkthrough of this game yesterday. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. I know what you're thinking. Flaming Kong, how can you have kept the Toad's Treasure Tracker, a piece of crap game, in front of all these awesome games? Like Pokemon and Donkey Kong, Travel Will Freeze, and Mario Kart 8. How can you do this to me? Well, you're my friends. I did this to you because 
this is my favorite puzzle game, and it's astounding game. It can get difficult at times, like, if I would suggest not even playing the bonus book, my suggestion, unless you want, besides the 3D world levels, for my Let's Play, I'm not even going to be doing the bonus book, because it's a waste, it's just replaying everything you already did, harder version pretty much. There's the whole thing. There's a dragon. Like, I'm literally reaching almost four feet out just so I can show you the whole thing. Like, I have to bend and stuff. Like, this is not even worth it. Just toe, dude. Hi. Um, I know my... That was my first no commentary walkthrough and might even be my last. I'm probably not gonna do that very often unless it completely relies on the Wii U, but since... I am going to be getting a new Wii U soon. I shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Unless my Wii U pad starts stops working again. Which if that does happen, that's pretty dumb. Anyway. On to... You know, if that was my second favorite Wii U game. That means we still have two 3DS games. And one Wii U game, which is number three. Wait, I know what you're thinking. How can Super Smash Bros. for Wii U be number three and not number one? Recount. I need to recount, everybody. Uh, this is just too overwhelming. <sighs> well, the main reason is because I only got to play this game for like four days. Maybe if I got more time to play it, it might be number one on this list. But I do have other reasons. Smash Bros. Wii U is definitely my favorite Smash Bros. game. That just means these two 3DS games I have left are even better games. And nobody's gonna agree with me on that. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Oh, you don't have no idea. Smash Bros. for Wii U. It's outstanding. I could go on for probably an hour telling you everything in the game. So how about you go and play the game instead? Yeah, I just want to let you know that I don't know. I really like this box art, dude. Look at Pikachu. They like make Pikachu the. I'm... What am I even doing? Okay, so this next game is. A 3DS game. Number two on my list is... I'm super slow. <gasps> Whoa! A Legend of Zelda. A Link Between Worlds. This game is outstanding Zelda game. I know I'm going to be having a separate video next year for my favorite 2015 games. It might not be top 10, it might be top 5, because it's only one year. But anyway, this game came out in 2013, and I've beaten this game three times. 100%. With 9,999 rupees. The highest amount possible. I know what you're thinking. Why would you waste your time doing that? Well, if you're getting 100% in this game, it's actually, you don't even have to go out of your way to do that. So, I didn't even go out of my way. I just played the game, got all the collectibles, and somehow at the end I ended up with the max amount of rupees all three times. I also played this game on hero mode, but that's it's just, I don't know, that's cool too. A Link Between World, you pretty much have two different worlds that you go into, the light world and the dark world. It's just a lot of fun. If you have a 3DS, I definitely recommend it. But now for the final game. Which I just got recently. Even though this game is... It's not old. It was came out in 2014. It's a 3DS game. And it relates to my new channel icon. My favorite game of 2013 through 2014 is... Nobody's going to even probably have this on their top 20. I don't know. Nah, that's a stretch. Top 10 list. Maybe. Maybe 
maybe not top five, but this is my favorite. So I don't care about all your opinions. This is my opinion. You guys can tell me your opinion in the comments. You can tell me your top ten games of 2013 or your top five games of 2013 and top five of 2014. Or you can do them together like I did. But this game is Kirby Triple Deluxe. Rated E for everyone. <laughs> this game is probably my favorite Kirby game. And this game is, no, probably my favorite Kirby game. Dude, when I got this game, I went out and bought this. I got this Kirby Amiibo. It's a real Amiibo. Just because I got this game. I'm like, wow. Kirby is outstanding. And look, it's so cute. And there's Hypernova. There's all these new abilities. Clown. I Honestly, that one's really stupid. But the other three are awesome. The Bug. I don't even think that's what it's called. The Bell and Archer are my favorite. The ones in the middle. Archer makes you look like Robin Hood. Or an Archer. Not, he's not really Robin Hood. And there's also new modes. Like... Kirby Fighters and DDD's Drum Dash. And once you beat the game, you unlock DDD Tour, where you play through the game with warps. You play through the whole game. But not all of it, unless you find shortcuts, which are warps. And you only get that if you beat the game. Probably should have put spoiler warning there. Spoiler warning! You also get the arena. And once you beat the arena, you get the true arena, which is... Definitely difficult. <laughs> Only true players will ever beat it. Have I beaten it? No. But one of my favorite things about this game is none of that. It's the keychains. I'm obsessed with like collecting the keychains. I like I don't start a new I didn't start a new save file with this game. You know what I did instead? I played through all of the same levels of the game since there's keychains and Pretty much you can find them in levels. I didn't make a new game. I just played through every level again to see if I could find more keychains to add to my collection. So, my arm's getting tired of holding all these games. <laughs> but, Kirby Triple Deluxe. It's an awesome game. And it's definitely, if you're a Kirby fan and you don't have the game, you have to get it. And... It's better than Kirby Superstar Ultra, so I hope we can argue in the comments about that. Because <laughs> I know there's a really big fan base for Superstar Ultra. Ultra. Superstar. I guess Superstar Ultra, in my opinion, is also better than the original Superstar. Just better graphics, man. But that's pretty much it. And if you didn't like my list... Tell me yours in the comments below, like I already said. And me and this Pro Controller and this Kirby are waving you goodbye. Can't even see it, can you? We can see Kirby. You can't see the Pro Controller. It's black. It's black Pro Controller. I should get all my other Amiibos. Because if you guys don't have Amiibos, I'll just show them right here for some reason. I got... The Kirby Amiibo, which you've already seen, it's generic Kirby. It's probably the least detailed. And the most detailed, of course, is Mr. Link. Try to shine him in the light. He's got the Master Sword, Highland Shield. He is super cool. Try to get to focus. I don't think it is, but who cares? It's on this weird yellow stand for some reason. No, don't know why they made it yellow, but that's not a big deal. Would have been... Much better if it was clear. Next up, we have Pikachu. And these three amiibos I all got at the same time. And I have a fourth one that I got a few days ago. And that's Pikachu. Pikachu is also pretty undetailed. I plan on getting a few for Christmas. Probably Mario, Luigi, Fox. And here's Yoshi. Probably my favorite amiibo. I love Yoshi. I don't know why I just randomly decided that I'd show. Show all this stuff. Sorry, I had to go get something. 
I have this black Yoshi that I got for Christmas last year. It's a stuffed animal black Yoshi. And I have this normal little Yoshi and this pink little Yoshi. And they are friends. I'm just dragging this video on for some reason. I better go. Most of you probably aren't even here anymore. Bye, everybody. For real this time. I'm getting tired. And I hope you enjoyed my list. Goodbye. Salutations. Konnichiwa. Aloha. Adios. How do I... Wait, was I saying hi? I don't even know. Oh yeah, before I leave, I have to show you guys a super cool thing that I also have that's Yoshi related. I got Yoshi slippers. And I actually do wear them. Sorry, I just completely forgot and I just had to share this with the world that I have Yoshi slippers. So yeah. <laughs>